So, yes, yeah, so if you guys hear the little beep -y in the back, the reason that that's happening is because I'm an awful cook. And so I was trying to cook something and the sm I was I was baking my sandwich and then the smoke <laughs> came out into the apartment and the, oh, you know, whatever. You don't care about that. Um, I actually had a topic that I was going to talk about. D is married. D is married. Mother I thought I'd found a decent one. I was like, finally, a single, semi-black male with a nice body, a decent face, some a sense of character at all. Wow, I could finally like oogle over this man. And then he posted his wedding ring and that's when I knew. How can I say this? Married men love me. I don't know what it is, but people like for me to be their mistresses. Like nothing about me. So I don't have like a mistress stamp on my fucking forehead. And also, come on, bro. Like I literally go out and like gap shit every day. I'm not trying to be a dame at this point. You guys have seen some of the photos where I go out in a dress or like uh, a skirt, but that's not every day. Right now, I do not have a Rent the Runway subscription. And I think I've decided I'm probably not gonna renew it until like next year. I really want to meet some of my weight goals. And once I do meet those weight goals, then let's let's be a baddie in 2023 i think 2022 has been it's been okay for kind of like getting back on track in some instances in other instances there's just and there i don't know what the fuck it is for me it's like always some extra shit yeah there's just always some extra shit and I don't oh it just makes me so upset so uh that means that I have to unfollow D now and there's no muse to look at no there's just no attractive black men on the internet for me to google over there's just nothing so now all I can do is just make content about myself. Maybe I will just oogle over how sexy I am because that's all I can do. I, like I said before, I feel like we have a motherfucker. It's like little gnat. Okay, here's the deal, guys. Like I eat a lot of produce and I cook a lot of produce and then I don't like wash the dishes like right after I eat the produce. So the like, they're basically like fruit flies start to grow <laughs> and I just kind of let them grow. I was like, ah. like sometimes I'll do like a, well, like once a week I do like a, I clean everything with bleach and I, bo if you don't know, I boil my dishes. So things become clean again, but then, you know, it's a constant, cause I cook every day. Um, and I don't have much like cooking supplies i eat the same shit right like every day i make those caprese sandwiches or i make ramen and most of every meal is just me cooking an onion that's what i eat so um do you know what else i think that we could do that actually might be pretty cool um i wanted to make more content around girl interrupted Mostly just because I feel like it's such an important film and like I just haven't seen much analysis of it. A lot of people in theater seem to be like acting out scenes from it. Um, but they actually made it free on YouTube, which I think is very positive because I, <clears throat> excuse me, I do feel like there's a lot of um, women who can benefit 
from understanding mental health struggles and some of the reasons that some people are in mental institutions and the way that they are dealing with it in a lot of ways it's unhealthy but it's nice to see it on screen because you could compare and contrast that to your own life and try to understand you know how you could bypass those experiences so that you have more positive experiences and um sort of like interpret the way that you what do you understand about what is happening and why someone is in that situation in the first place so maybe we'll do that i i think um right now i'm like 45 minutes into the movie so i could give you guys a recap maybe we'll do that but i think i'm gonna start by reading that article about happy women in the uk